welcome to Wager Talk. My name is Minty, and I'm joined by Bruce Marshall. You can find him on Twitter at Bruce A. Marshall, and Yanni the Greek at Greek underscore Gambler on Twitter. This Saturday, we've got the New Mexico Bowl, Central Michigan versus San Diego State. Rocky Long is back in Albuquerque, and I kind of like the under here as San Diego State's defense is pretty fierce. Bruce, what do you think? Yeah, I can't argue with that. I mean, the Aztecs only went over in one game this yeah. year and back to last season. I think it's now third. the bowl game last year was way under. They didn't score in the bowl game last year in Frisco against uh, Ohio. So it's 12 of 13 under for San Diego State. So I can understand that under sentiment for sure. You know, this is kind of interesting because Rocky Long is returning back to his roots here. He's, he's a New Mexico grad. He coached the Lobos for a decade plus. So here he is back in Albuquerque with the San Diego State team that this year, this is interesting because they went to a spread offense this year, but they kept the playbook the same from last year. They're running the same plays out of the spread. His version of it didn't look much different than what they were doing last year. Mm -hmm. And you saw them really bogged down, down the stretch this season. Uh, this team only scored 15 points per game its last six. And a lot of those unders, like you said, every one of the games, the Hawaii game, 14 to 11, uh, you know, UNLV 20 to 17. So boring. Really, very boring team. Now, Jim McElwain, who played, who coached against Rocky when he was at Colorado State a few times before he moved to Florida a few years ago, so they're familiar with one another. This was one of the better storylines of the year, I thought, certainly in the MAC it was, mm -hmm. as he turned this program around. And they covered nine of their last uh, 11 games this season. They probably, you know, they were favored in that game against Miami. They let, came up a little flat in the MAC championship game, but still a great turnaround. And the transfer quarterback from Tennessee, Quentin Dormady, he can make more chunk plays, I think, than Agnew, the other side from San Diego State. It's just, is the Aztec defense good enough to maybe put a vice grip on this game? Possibly so. But McElwain's been a good underdog coach throughout his career. CMU is 5 and 1 as a dog this season. We're going to take Central Michigan to win this thing. Don't argue with your under either. That might not be a bad way to look, but we think Central Michigan can win this oh. thing, Yoni. I can't disagree with the under either, but I even more so agree with the Central Michigan side. Oh. The pause was, this is a team that was horrific last year, and they've made the biggest jump as far as their wins and losses from a year ago. Um, very impressive, and you got to ask yourself, would a team like that, when you do that, was that the goal, to just have a winning season? Are you just happy to be there now in a bowl game? Have you already accomplished and even surpassed your season expectations? Um, is this just now a bonus? That's the only worrisome. Um, but I just can't. How can you lay points with a team that could get no separation? I mean, you got to be able to score points if you're a favorite. Um, and that's what worries you if you're going to take San Diego State. I like the dog. For me, it's a dog or pass situation. And if you're going to bet the dog, I think it's a money line play. Yeah, I like it. Thanks, guys. Get the rest of 2019 from your favorite wager talk or sports memo capper for just 119, which is what we normally sell seven days for. This gets you all plays in all sports from your favorite capper, including all 5% plays that sell for $40 by themselves.